Felicia Castle, West teacher here. We are back from the summer. I hope you had a great holidays, vacancies, as you call them. For me, it has been quite a bit of work. I would like to make a two points today, since new season will be on all changing hope. Or I will bring into the direction of changing what puzzles you of this new contribution that I'm giving. And you can tell, okay, but you train voices. Why don't you show the exercises? Why don't you show the practices? I do sometimes, quite often also. But the fact is that uh, you usually look at them in a way which is not useful to use them. My efforts uh, of these last 24 months as international presenter of some abstracts, uh, posters, uh, oral presentations, uh, workshops, uh, basic science, 10 days ago, yeah, basic science also said, they start seeing on the top what I'm talking about and what I like to do with new knowledge if we can, top down and bottom up. Bottom up, it is that really you have to change perspective. I start calling it now the dark side of the moon. Yeah, you know, I like teasing. All the time I like teasing. I'm a singer and I'm like that also. Why the dark side of the moon? Because it acts without being on the sunny side, but it acts. What acts? Let's start talking more clearly. I'm talking about the contributions to voice quality and voice production of the musculoskeletal system, the general musculoskeletal system. Today I would like you to start thinking about one thing. I have the idea that it puzzles you, especially when you're a teacher, especially when you're a singer. Because you want to perceive those contributions into the respiratory system. It will act also in some ways into the respiratory system. But you're not going to control and to perceive it directly into the respiratory system. And then you say, so it has not to do with voice. For your brain, it has to do with movement, tensions, contractions, will of something else. And what science says and knowledge says, and I'm just the messenger of that, it has a lot to do with voice. It is not because you don't perceive it that it doesn't contribute. And I know that sometimes it's quite a... Oh, it is the dark side of the moon. Also sad. If you can measure, plan, control those contributions, the effect of what you're doing into the development of those contributions, well, they are there. And cognitively, if you have relied too much into the respiratory self-perception of the instrument, it can be a little tricky to distance yourself. That's why I do all the examples of uh, the reductionist model. You think of the interaction of the ball with your hand when you play basketball, when you play volleyball, doesn't matter. And you say, okay, this is my perception, this is my skillfulness, etc. And when I tell you, yes, but you have a short player and the others are taller. So, so we train his system to jump with a different speed according to his structure and the specificities of his muscular general system, the big box. And he learns to do a torsion since he's smaller, he can be faster, you know, talks. Shorter levels can have a momentum with more speed and acceleration. And so this touching of the ball can go beyond the tallest one. For voice, you see, but I don't see the point. You will see the point when you accept that it acts as it does, and you stop trying to put it 
into the respiratory system. And some see the point because they work with clients, patients that are mostly doctors. Thank you, Mara Belau, for your words. Yeah. And uh, they see from a distance. It doesn't mean that you cannot get after skillful, close and own those contributions, but it is a leap of vision that I'm asking to do. This year we are going to do what in voice series? I'm going to talk just about that. On some things that you have to rethink about. Why did I present in basic science? Because it is basic science. <laughs> I am the messenger, but I'm just the first messenger, the pioneer of something that it is basic science and it is wise. You know, knowledge goes. Sometimes with a change of perspective, sometimes with just a jump, sometimes just little step by little step. The effort that I've done on those 24 months has been to get back from my vision that can be important for me, important for my, but since still has to be made again the step by step, little by little to maintain what of this vision is objective beyond my intuition and my capacities or my talent or how you want to call it. Uh, that doesn't, it's important to me, it's important for my students, it's important also for the field, but at the end what is important is the objectivity of it and the usefulness of it. And so I just went back. So when you look at my first presentation at Pivonk, it was to say, okay, you see my results as miracles, they are not so fortunate. Because if they were miracles, they could not be reproduced by someone else. While their knowledge and the thing is, okay, break this down. What we assess now of the musculoskeletal system as important. To me, it was in the different um, meaning of importance and I'm nuancing that now. And they put me into basic science because they, they see that the point is a, a true point. And since we are all very curious and interested in doing better, it is a nuancing means we see the pillars and then we get a little beyond to nuance, to see when they're useful, when they're convenient, and when the nuancing is more convenient and more useful. <coughs> That it is what I've done with the concept of isometric. That I will nuance even further because I'm not yet where I'd really apply those. So when you look at my exercises, you usually want to get back to the isometric that is your pillar. I'm applying the nuancing. And the nuancing takes the dark side of the moon and then it manifests in the sunny side as an effect, not as an order, not as a direct, how can I say, action on the system. Sometimes you will control by your style, by your talents, etc., from the dark side, some other times from the sunny side. I'm just saying, both act, we cannot manage with the same cognitive level, also because of, that's why I call it the, the dark side. You don't have the sunlight there. And if you have the sunlight there, I am on the sunny side. So I can't control. No, you can control it. We are yet there. And also in the past and in the good practices, there were some things. They were not systematized as I'm systematizing them. They were not uh, dot connecting as I'm doing it. But this is knowledge, and this is the beauty of knowledge. You have the results because the system acts like that and the forces act like that, and it is controllable. Not in a precise line, but as always with boundaries. They maintain the path they are going through because the system is complex. Okay, so what is the thing this year? Next week, we are going to have an episode with a great pianist that I love fondly, that I met in New York, 
even if he's Italian of origin, and he's from my ancestors, the island of the Sardinia, Sardinian. And uh, we had a talk together because uh, he has a very different way of solving and being a musician than me. And he's a successful musician in New York. That it was his dream. So how to become his teen dream and to make it real into music? And you have that. For me, it will be a step by step into some custom method. How much time will I have? No idea, because now um, I would like to make it also top down. Not only in the conferences, it would be nice somewhere else. And this will ask some time. But what I want from you this year is uh, be open to change and add the system that act into your voice production as they are. Your brain doesn't need to think it is phonation. Because it is phonation, even if it doesn't start to perceive it as phonation. Because when it is what it is, it is just what it is. When I said, remember, in the first season, gravity, anti-gravity, we are activating some gravity muscles. Are they acting into the system? <laughs> are you acting them as phonatory and artistic uh, tools? <laughs> Does your brain think of them as phonation? Not directly, but indirectly, yes. Indirectly is also, as I said one time, you make your pizza crust, you want it in a certain way, and I tell you, okay, now we take care of the oven, we want electric one, perhaps, we want it with a fire into, perhaps, we choose, and I get to take the wood to make the fire. But it's not pizza crust, but it has to do with the pizza, and it has to do on how you want your pizza. Also said, when you taste it, not raw, you say, oh, cooked is better. Yeah. Yeah. And it is doing the pizza. Even if you are not touching the crust, I'm making all those things or putting it on the side to make it uh, be the dog after three days of fermentation. Ah. But it is pizza. And your brain has no problem in that. If you Distance yourself from, so you want me to put the wood into the crust? Mm, no. So it is not pizza? Yes. It was just not mechanistically said like that. And it was in some sort an elite thing, because from a certain point of level, you knew that. But we don't want any more that it is you have access only if by chance your system does not oppose to that and second you're trained to that level we want to be access for everybody because it's knowledge it is just how it is but i can cook my pizza on the window yeah perhaps in some places but it is less reliable than with your one do you own as to you have to control with your body you can develop your body and it translates into voice quality because as i said in the isometric presentation it is the sum of the contributions of what it is contributing to the hold and we have to define better because when you define better, you have the ingredients. And when you have the ingredients, you have some better capacity of finding the ingredients, eventually changing or developing the ingredients, and so the recipe. And those are the words of Mara Bilal. Because they see 
that in the policies, if we nuance the view and we add those important contributions, we have a half of the world that can be added happily and not just by I don't understand why it doesn't respond in the same way. Yes, we add and we put more reliable boundaries for our path, happy for voices, for therapies, for singers. Do we always need to put them as relevant? It is options. It is sometimes it's uh, non-negotiable. Sometimes you choose. And sometimes you can choose not to. It's your, it's in your path. It's in the goal. It's in the options. For my classical singer that you see on YouTube, it was not negotiable. She didn't know. She could have this option. And we found new isometrics for her. That is the point. We have the freedom to choose. With some freedom and more capacity of planning it. More isometrics. Also said more healthy, happy, artistically relevant emissions. So, see you next week with Alberto Pibiri. Have a very good week and a very good day.